Have fun. Be I happy. Have fun. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Awesome. There you I'll go. I'll be here if I'm not having fun. <laughs> That's like I'm new to this. Yeah. You have to realize that, okay? Right. It's wonderful. No, it's You're awesome. Oh, it's awesome. Exactly. Are you awesome. kidding? Because that's exposing to what you no longer, and it hurts. It's like, damn, I bought into this. But that's okay because now what you're doing is showing how you can release it, which again gives it telepathically to all the collective to latch on to that understanding and use it in their now. Because you're putting out from conscious idea to the collective, which automatically telepathically downloads into the collective of conscious of humankind, giving them the idea of expansion of letting things Letting go of things rather that no longer prefer, no longer serves them. Awesome. That's ascension work. Beautiful. You just rose. Your vibration yes. got higher. And we've all gone through it. We're all yeah. doing it. <laughs> Absolutely. All the time. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions out there? Oh, I'm looking for a name. <laughs> If, if there's one answer to be had for um, a, being a psychic reader, being something, looking for a name. You're looking for a name? Yeah. If you have any ideas, if you don't, that's okay. A name for what? For myself, to give myself, to draw attention and uh, counsel and I try to share. A name. I don't want, I, I just want another name. <laughs> so maybe something similar. And I'm out there for anyone. I think Francine had the right idea to challenge yourself with that impartation, which you know as an inquiry, but you got the download. The idea is why do you will not want to be who you are? In other words, to the society, to the outside, if you don another mask, it will bring more people into your life. When truly the name has zero to do with it. It is your perpetuating energy that allows the vibration to be known throughout the collective to attract the ones that will give you the sustaining paradigm of your current belief system. If you choose that in the way of I need to because I'm going to have them give me an idea of me being successful, so if I give them a cool name, so to speak, then of course they will attract when that is actually putting out the vibration of I need to be successful, which gives you doubt. In other words, you're exposing your lack, and there is a vibration that is in that lack that will, let's say, ward off those potential abundance givers. Are you following? Yes. To all that you do not know me, my name is Akina and I am from the Palladian Collective. I am currently incarnated as a ninth density Pleiadian. And I do want to thank you from my eternal love, my eternal gratitude for allowing this interaction. We, the Pleiadians, are very involved right now with your collective and your ascension and we have lots of pockets, so to speak, of Pleiadians around doing our work as we see our highest joy to help the collective in the ascension. I am once again a Kian, uh, a higher self of what you know as Rakia, Roxanne, and all the others that you have met. All of us are known in the higher selves as fire. Fire will probably make a connection with you tonight to give you an idea of a higher self as a collective of higher self. But while I am here, I do enjoy being in this density, feeling the vibration, what you would call 3D paradigm. It is exciting. So, if you would allow me to stay a little longer, I will help you if you choose with an impartation of some kind of inquiry that your expansion conscience is urging you to talk, speak, allow if you choose. So amongst you entities in this room at this time we would like to ask you, do you have any questions? Anybody? The floor is what you will call yours. I have a question. I had a dream a couple weeks ago and there were four beings walking kind of in almost a formation 
and they were walking across a parking lot, and I felt like they were very tall, and I kind of thought they might be Pleiadian, and uh, in the dream they were all colonels and I was uh, lower ranking, and I tried to salute, and one didn't know what I was doing, and the other nudged her and said, He's, you have to salute back. And she looked very frustrated, like she didn't understand that. Were, were they Pleiadians? No, they were what you would call Hathors. Do you understand who the Hathor Collective is? I do, from Venus? No. They're in, currently incarnated as the fourth density being in the Venus, what you would call Venus, after their planet had exploded, what you would know as Maldek in your current incarnation, which you would know as your asteroid belt. But they are there preparing Venus. They are not from there, however. So they are Hathors, and the reason why you saluted them is because they were appearing to you as something that you could equate to in your 3D logical mind, so you can even have what you call the incarnation of that experience. In other words, you were there not in dream state. You were there in what you would understand astral projection. You did not give yourself the full memory of the insight, pardon me. You did not give yourself the full a memory of the experience as astral, but we can give you that now. Because what happened there is a lot deeper than what you were perceiving in the moment. There was much more to this dream, much more to this astral let's say, experience in your 3D mind to understand. No, you are not a Hathor in higher self. What you are is going to help in the Venusian idea when 3D Earth comes 4D. And Venusia expands into the orbit, which you currently call Earth orbit. So what you were doing is you were preparing yourself in that idea of what's going on over there and when your idea of saluting is what your best equation was into what you would call a military idea because they looked what you would call authoritative. But that's what you needed to give yourself so you can even have the experience. Are you following? Yes. Excellent. So what you should do now if you choose, it is all your highest excitement, your show. So if you choose to do this, why don't you go back when you go to sleep tonight in your lucid state and you are a master at achieving lucid at this now, then ask for the astral projection to come into full memory. You will not go astrally once again, you will actually get the entire full download of what you were and see yourself in your new role, so to speak, on the incarnation, Venusia. <laughs> are we following? Yeah, that, that resonates. Of course it does, because it is your truth and I am you. How awesome. Welcome to your show. Thank you. You're welcome. Are there any more inquiries from the collective in this room at this time that I can give you my wonderful perspective from? I have a question. I just recently uh, released a vow in a past life. I was curious as to why. Released I a vow? Right, like, what does that mean? Tell me your 3D interpretation of that. Okay. Let's start there. She she had a block mm -hmm. about past lives. Ah. She had vowed uh, before she came in this time not to remember them because she thought that would make this life too easy. Ah. So we we broke that vow. We released that. Okay. The vow. The vow to not V O W to not remember. Thank you for that. Okay. So, go. Oh, my question would be, why did I ask for that then? And why did you give itself to right. you then? Did you right. never ask because you're only asking yourself. Right. So you gave yourself, that's your question, yes? Yes. Hold on. We are raw! The 
question you ask a young master is one of, hmm, doubt. Why would I do this to myself? Let me ask you this, why not? Why are you scared of now realizing you had made a vow and then released it? Does that not expand you or are you taking it, let's see, as a negative paradigm to continue the battle that's in your mind, your current conflict in yourself, yes or no? Yes. Yes. So, in it, that of itself gave to this, there were thousands of probabilities, of course, that could have played out, but you chose this one. Be happy with it. Accept it as you and your highest truth in this now, and in that now you can expand. In other words, do not choose to view it as a negative paradigm anymore and relish it. In that relishment vibrates higher, allowing what the true meaning behind that to flow in to your new 3D idea of your conscience collective vibration. Are you following? Yes. Yes? Yes. I heard you. I just wanted to hear it again. <laughs> My apologies. Are there any more impartations, elaborations, furtherment on this idea? No. Are you sure? I think so. <laughs> Beautiful. So the idea is when you give yourself challenges, which she did before and realized it now, is a challenge. All challenges are viewed to the best of your ability, once again according to your current beliefs. Please make no mistake about it, beliefs are your world, reality, paradigm. There is no status quo. There is no set of rules. There is nothing laid out. You are your universe. Understand this and try, or try not, to experience yourself freely as the eternal being, creator, God that you are. And be the ascended masters you all are. At this time, we would like to impart upon you one other idea of incarnation. Your incarnations at this time are a choice for a particular idea to help the collective. Remember that. You all have chosen yourself to come here at this time for the ascension, not experience of 3D in as much as ascension. There are a few of you which you would call star sea childs that this is their first rodeo. But most of you, 99.82% would be the old school. The ones that have been here since day one. Doing all the groundwork. The bravest of all of you. You are epic. A hundred thousand times. Seems like a lot in your ideas. But truly, let's equate it to this to your oversoul. One day. A hundred thousand lives in one day. So relax. But you are here again for the ascension. That is your new idea to grasp if you choose. Realize you are challenging yourself in all nows to understand what keeps you limited, what keeps you in forgetfulness, what keeps you from preventing yourself to say that you are God, the Creator, all that is, the Source, the One, Point Zero, the Void, the Eternal Being, and create your reality. That's who you are. That's what the challenge is.
to raise once again the species from complete dark to complete light. The epic journey in the moment lies the freedom of self-expansion. Be now. For now is reality. This is Ra. We are Ra. We would like to thank you for allowing us to be here with your vibrational state of eternal love to allow once again this interaction, allowing us to be in your reality. I shall now return you to Osipius. I bid you good day, dear masters. Adonai. And this is once again Osipius. Thank you all for this. For that vibrational energy, let's say, to sustain raw is very high, very good work on all of your parts. Make no mistake about it. He does not come all the time because there's not enough energy, stabilizers, givers, that kind of a thing to actually let him come in. Because he is an oversoul, a very large collective. That raw is, is, was the ascended master God idea of the raw of the Egyptian, but is an oversoul, so there are billions of energies in that energy. So they speak as a collective one. Ra. We are Ra. That kind of idea. So it takes a lot of energy. So once again, thank you for your vibrational state to allow that to come in. So, once again, I am back. If there are any more questions, we will go ahead and handle them now. If not, we will have a coke and a smile and DM it. So, Anyone have anything going? Anybody? Wonderful. So you've got a lot of impartations tonight. A lot of understanding. A lot of expansion. Please don't look for the golden nugget. Don't look for it to end. Don't look for something to all of a sudden epiphanize and go, holy cow, that's it. That's the solving of the whole thing. No. The joy of humanity is the moment of now. Remember that. Lived to your highest excitement in the reality, which only occurs now. Be the journey of ascension instead of trying to be ascended. Be the journey. That's the acceleration of ascension. That's the byproduct of being now. Because the more you're now, the happier you are. Because the beauty you see of the moment, the revelations, the higher self, what truly is going on around you, instead of Again, limited by the idea of what should or could or would. So, once again, we love you all. Our eternal love, eternal thanks, eternal gratitude forever for the bravest incarnations are in this room and out there. Thank you, all of you, for choosing humanity to take this species from complete dark to complete light. Masters of limitation to master gamers. This is the epic game of humanity, and you all are, let's say, kicking it in the ass. Good job. We bid you good day. I don't know. Hi, everybody. Ross is back. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Um, I love you guys. I'll get this up as quick as I can. We'll see you later.